with myself, with my colleagues who have just spoken before me. And I want to say that the way you have seen us, that we are very aggrieved. And let me begin by saying this. I want Mosh Modwale, the Minister for Defense in charge of KDF, to tell Pokot and the nation whether KDF are for, for protection of peace, for protection of people, Kenyans including Pokot, or they are support machine for Turkana bandits. He must come out clear on that. We're very aggrieved. And let's call a spade a spade. He must come out and tell Kenyans and with the Pokot people through their leadership. Whether now security agencies in those places have become a support machine of Turkana bandits. Why am I saying that? Because of the following. Number one, as my colleague said, yesterday some strange machines called drones boomed Pokot in a village called Kamokongo, which is in the famous Takwell area. Very innocent people. Very innocent people who had just repulsed Turkana bandits who wanted to steal their animals. They really fought the whole night, yesterday night. And when, now, when they were recollecting themselves yesterday, is when they were bombed by KDF. They were counting themselves who is alive and who is not alive. Including a people who has just done an uh, examination the other day. Was killed. And as my colleague said, four people were killed. By who? By KDF. And that's government. We are very aggrieved. And I want to say this. And so that the nation, why are we talking to the nation? Because nobody is listening to the Pokot people. Let Kenyans and our people listen to us. It seems that we are, not, we are not being listened by anybody. Let me give this chronology so that Kenyans can understand what I'm trying to say before you. If you go to my official handle, you people, the media, of course, I know you follow me. I know you follow me. And also this, uh, this government is following me. If you go to my official handle, I raised an issue of Pogot being killed. The last one uh, 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 from yesterday was on November 13th. Pogot were killed in Takwell area. Followed by October 29th, 25th. Pogot again were killed in Takwell. October 11th, Pogot were killed. In the same belt. September 20th, Pogot again were killed by Turkana bandits. In the same area, Takwell area. August 16th, Pokot were killed. August 1st, Pokot were killed. All these are on record. I am able to my report to Serkali. They are aware. And out of all those incidences, Akuna Moja Serkali wame Jaribu na kusaidia wa Pokot. Akuna Tamoja. These things are on record. The ministers I'm talking about, that is on the Bodwale and on the Bukindiki, are aware. We have even talked with them. We have even shared with them guns which are being used by Turkana bandits. And these guns are KPR guns. I've shared with them. I've even sent them. And that's why we are saying they must now come out and tell us, okay, you know what? The security agencies have changed UNESCO Pogot and Turkana. They are Turkana support machine to eliminate Pogot. And we are suspecting that this is an orchestrated agenda by the Turkana people for land expansion. This is a land expansion uh, project. This is a land expansion project. And if it is a land expansion, expansion project, then those ministers must come and tell us. We are aggrieved. We met the president himself. As my colleague Honorable Chakapong said, yes, all of us leadership here, we met the president. We raised the issue of discrimination against the Pokot on APR. Can you imagine, and the nation is hearing, that NPR uh, were given to Turkana, NPR were given to Elgeo Marquet and even Samburu. Living Pogot in, 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 in Tiati, living Pogot in West Pogot. 
when you are giving this government guns to Samburu or Elgeo Marquet or Marquet or, or Tukana, are they are those toys? No. They were aimed at killing the Pogut people. We have raised these issues. The president took up the issue. Before us, he, he, he directed under Bukindiki to regularize that anomaly to give Pogut NPR. Up to today, three weeks, four, one month, nothing. And that's why I'm saying there is something. That's why we are talking. And I will tell the nation and the people who care to listen to us, we will not do press conferences forever and watch our people die. No. Yes. And we will not be intimidated by statements of, or, or arrests or incitement. When we to get at what we to see we are inciting. We are saying the truth. I've given you those chronology of events. I know. Maybe after this, people, some of us here will be saying, oh, you know, you incited people, or oh, you record statement in Akuru or, or, or in, uh, in, in, in DCI. We are ready. If it is to record statement to protect our people, we are ready. Because we are elected by people, protect people. So who are we going to say? Have we talked in offices? Yes. Have we gone to these offices? Yes. Up to the president? No, up, to, up to State House itself. Some of you saw my pictures with the president. Did you, where, where was I? I know you people are circulating for your own reasons. And I know the reasons. Where were we? We were, we were tethering our people. President giving, giving direction to Honda Bukindiki in front of us. The regular assisting help of courts. Nothing has happened. And some of us politically, we are political animals. We are thinking maybe some ministers are incompetent or they want the, the Pokot to be isolated from the president himself. They want Pokot to hate the president. I mean, in Mpango, he has some ministers. Kufanya wa Pokot, wa Chukiana na Rice. This is a move that I'm seeing from incompetent ministers politically. And so what are you saying? This is my way forward. Number one, number one, government must compensate and particularly KDF must compensate the people who were killed yesterday. The three people must be compensated. Four, four. Mid four people who were killed yesterday must be compensated. That is number one. Number two, we want to see seriousness of government. NPR 205. Yeah, we are very vetted. And they say they have been vetted. Mwishima Gindiki alisema kwa Senate, alisema kila mahali. Lakini inaishia makameras, vile mimi naona kameras hapa. Inaishia hapo. Mwishima Gindiki, kama pataki kusikia ya president, then tumesema. Na tunataka president pia sikia. Ya kwamba Mwishima Gindiki, anataka wa pokot, wa hate, Mwishima Ruto. President. Because why? What's going on? Na si tumesema, you either give us everybody KPR, ama toa kila mtu NPR. Why si tumbagi pegetu? Sasa, in advance, see your KPR then, now in KDF, in our what you So where do we go? What you do not happy? So number one, they must compensate the people. Number two, NPR. We give to NPR, we must be given. And we are asking you, the people of, of the media and the country. So where do Pokot go in an event where when a party at Turkana and NPR go to Pokot, when a party at Marquette go to Pokot, so where do Pokot go? When is it going to That is why we are saying, number three, when you walk to hospital, there are more than 20 people in the hospital now, Kapanguria. And some of them are being taken to uh, 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 refer or elore. Government must pay. Hospital, you have to last my lipo in a serikali. What is the serikali? What is the serikali? What is the serikali? What is the serikali? But when you have to pay every single day, you have to pay every single day. So, we have to pay every single day. 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 Lakini mali mambo imefika, and I will say this, we will not talk forever. Yeah. We will not talk forever. We will not talk forever. It is true. Tumeongea kwa office, that's why tumekuja kwa media. After that, we will ask the Pogo to give us direction. Yes. And we, are, we, are, we will not be scared. We will not be intimidated. We will defend our people. So, before we reach there, government should take its role. Wale askari ya mwisho wale askari waliua watoto wetu. Wale KDF waliua watoto wetu kwa sababu anajulikana hata kama ni drone. Lazima washikwe. By end of this week they should be in jail. Ndio tuone sasa serikali iko na ina inatujali sisi. What is happening? Tumeongea tangu tuwe elected more than one year ago. Patia sisi NPR. Tumelia kila mahali. NPR patia sisi. Tume, tuko na shida. Tuko na shida. And I think and I want to tell the government. Those people who care to listen. 
Hii propaganda ya kusema kwamba wapokoto wako na bunduki mingi kuliko kila mtu ni uongo. Na hiyo ni mpango ya kumaliza watu yetu. So I to leave it at that. And I want to challenge the government now to lead from front. Lakini ya tuta wangea na mna hii milele. No. We'll ask our people whether we are actually Kenyans. At the right time we'll ask our people.